sub you to simply oh luckier and today i have an interesting video for you guys it is a Yu-Gi-Oh! 24 pack box of dark beginning 2 and then i want to ask you guys to check out the channel subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos hashtag simply squad and before getting in this you guys i want to give a quick shout out to the new simply unlucky discord su corp a link will be at the top of the description below you guys please check that out and of course, uh, the new revamped Patreon rewards and all that cool Patreon stuff will also be there for you guys to check out if you would like to do so. Alright you guys, so getting into this video, um, recently I've been trying to pick up some cool Dark Beginning and Dark Revelation product to do some epic booster box wars for you guys. I was getting all excited. And so I was trying to do a uh, get a booster box of Dark Beginning 2 off of uh, eBay. And they ended up sending 24 loose packs of Dark Beginning 2. And I did get it at a decent price, but they did say they were giving a physical box, sealed box of Dark Beginning 2. So I was pretty disappointed. Um, but I ended up keeping it just because I wanted to talk about it in this video for you guys. And uh, how it can be like purchasing online cards either off of eBay or different websites that aren't necessarily trusted sellers. Or, uh, you know, a popular website more like Troll and Toad or Ideal 808 or whatever. But even those sites sometimes you can have issues with. So, uh, yeah, I just want to go ahead and make this video. I don't want to say scam necessarily, but we'll see. I mean, they sent us 24 loose back packs, basically, of Dark Beginning 2 instead of sending a box. So, let's see what happens. Let's pop it open. Here we go. Dark Beginning 2 booster box sealed 24 packs in not in a box, though. So let's see what they sent us here. Alright. So, and like I said, we got a decent price, so I wanted to go ahead and just open this. What? Okay. So we have four upside down packs. Dude, no freaking way. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens. So, just by looking at this, I'm thinking these might be the foils and they forgot to like mix them in or something. So let's see, <laughs> let's see what happens. Um, so let's just guess that these are going to be the foils in the box. And so this is, this actually could happen ordering loose packs online. So they don't want to seem scammed or searched packs. So instead they put in three to four foils so that you're happy with your pools when really you should be getting at least six to eight foils in some of these boxes. But let's... Let's see if these four packs are actually foils, because this is about to piss me off. Um, let's go ahead and do this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do five packs, and then we'll open up one of these four, and let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Welcome to buying from random sellers online for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> okay, first pack. Here we go. Still nostalgic Yu-Gi-Oh packs at the end of the day. We've got our tip card, Princess Surugi. Nice classic card from MRD. Uh, Patrician of the Dogs. Uh, one of the original vampire cards. Popular archetype at the moment. Battle Steer. A bull monster often found in the woods. Rabbit Horseman from those early Kaiba episodes. Very cool. Aqua Spirit. Powerful card uh, in water decks for a very long time. Ooh! Ooh! A Yadagorasu. Nice. Common Spirit Monster. That's pretty sweet. Needle Wall. Bubble Crash. That's when the uh, economy's not doing so good. Robin Goblin. And a rare Ring of Magnetism. Did this card do some shenanigans in the show? And it didn't. wasn't its actual thing. But yeah, cool card though. As a rare too. Uh, different from its original printing. So uh, in these classic sets, you'll always see a higher value for those cards that were actually given a higher rarity compared to the original rarity. Spring of Rebirth and the Heart. Of clear water. Good booster box battle cards, though. That's for sure. Freaking Yada chilling over here. And uh, again, why I wanted to do some sort of war with this set. But let's let's see what happens. If you guys don't know, Yada is a banned card. I hope most of you guys know that. But it is a uh, that was the Wombo combo back in the day with Chaos Emperor Dragon and a Witch of the Black Force or Sangan. Oh, a Cyberstein. Wow. Right on the top of the packs here. Actually, a pretty valuable rare. We'll have the HUD pop up for you guys for this video, as well giving you an idea of what it's worth. But that's still uh, pretty nice to see a Cyberstein. Pay 5,000 life points um, to special summon one fusion monster from your fusion deck in attack position. Awesome to see Cyberstein here. 
And then one of those more valuable SJC cards, I believe. Shonen Jump cards. Extremely valuable PSA 10. Dr Dream Clown. Unhappy Maiden. Birdface. And then we have a King of Yami Maka. Warrior Die Greffer. Emperor's Holiday. Skull Lair. Classic card that was... I think the text was changed, right? Trap does shoot. Very powerful shield and sword. Defusion and after the genocide. Another card that was changed. Um, so, yeah. Just looking at these cards, I think it'd be really fun to do like some sort of booster box work with these things. Nice Cyberstein pull. And this will be a longer video. This usually would be a video that I'd probably post in two videos just because there's so many different classic packs to go through. Shadow Tamer. Gazelle the King of Mythical Beast. Skull Knight number two. Thunder Dragon, actually new support coming out for Thunder Dragon. Nice to see that guy here. Very cool. I think new fusion, right? Some shenanigans for him. Witch's Apprentice. The Dream Clown. Trap Dust Shoot. Reckless Greed. Ominous Fortune Telling. Fusion Gate Rare. Some cool rares we're getting, man. Fusion Gate, Cyberstime, Ring of Magnetism. Uh, Miracle Dig and Mirage of Nightmare. Powerful band card there. All right, so that's three packs. And our fourth pack here. Oh, rare right in the beginning. Jalgen the Spiritualist, another band card. Um, wait, no, it's Jalgen, Jalgen Man? I always get confused. But either way, this card is the shenanigans with um, Last Turn. So maybe Jalgen's not banned, now I can't remember. But uh, Last Turn. You would go first, I believe, and so you would summon Jalgen, and since they can't summon a monster from last turn's effect, you would just automatically win the game. Something like that. Uh, Dragon Manipulator. Great Long Nose. Soul Appeared in Light. Creel. Machine King, the original, the OG. Dark Coffin. Bottomless Shifting Sand. Dark Spirit of the Silent. Call the Mummy. Dark Piercing Light. And Soul Appear. A lot of light and soul Shenanigan, shenanigans going on in that pack. All right, pack number five, and then we'll open up one of those four packs that they set aside. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we've been searched. Ooh, morphing jar. That's cool. <laughs> Dude, dark beginning two, and it's rares, man. Holy moly, morphing jar straight off the top. Ooh, two mass sorcerer. That's nice. Cave Dragon, Frontier Wiseman, Swarm of Locusts, Dark Dust Spirit, Skull there again, Trap Dust Shoot, Second Coin Toss, Miracle Dig, and the A Forces, the Allied Forces. We're thinking of using that concept for one of our towers, the floors in our towers for that, the Allied Forces versus like the Dark World or something like that. Alright you guys, here we go. The Dark Beginning Booster Packs from over here. Let's see if they have been searched. Is this four foils? Let's see if the first one is a foil. It'd still be nice to pull a pretty cool card then. Dun 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 dun. Da 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 da. Susa Soldier. It is a foil. Wow. Just like that, right off the top. A foil Susa Soldier. All right. I think we've been searched, boys. Um. Let's go ahead and set that one there. We have the Immortal of Thunder. Crass Clown, Melissa Radiant, a Baby Dragon, nice. More than just a child, this dragon is gifted with untapped power. Shadow Tamer, the Pharaoh's Treasure, Bark of the Dark Ruler, Mirage of Nightmare, Timidy, and the Warrior, returning alive. Let's go ahead and sleeve our Seuss Soldier. This guy is the one that cannot be special summoned, but it is a 2,000 attack, 1,600 defense. I didn't realize it has so much defense. Okay, five more packs on the side. We'll open up one of those other packs that were upside down in the beginning. How do you search packs? Um, that's a question people often ask because they either want to know how others do it or how to do it themselves. But uh, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, very nice rare there, dude. I'm loving these rares that we're getting though, for real, for real. Um, how to search packs? Basically, there's a few different types of uh, ways you can do it. There's like metal detectors. Have you guys seen some of those? Basically, you kind of just metal detect the packs and you can kind of beep out a foil, whatever. That's, uh, I think, one of the more common ways to do it for people that are doing it large scale. Um, stores will sometimes do it by weighing the packs. Um, you can also search packs by putting them in a freezer or some sort of way to make them either hot or cold so that 
your foil will warp more. I think uh, cold is the better way to do it. So like you put them in the freezer for a bit and the card will slowly bend. Um, there's three ways. But yeah, so that's not cool though. You definitely don't want to be known as a store that searches your packs because then you're one of those guys. And uh, it's not, not good being one of those guys. Launcher Spider though, one of my favorite cards from the beginning of time. The mechanical spider that rocket launcher is capable of random fire. Very cool. Dark Scorpion Burglars. King Tiger Wangu. Trap Troop Dragon. Reckless Greed. Tutton Mask. Secrets. Book of Taiyu and Restructor Revolution. And uh, apologies, I had a few comments in the last video, uh, some people posting that I was saying some words wrong. Um, sometimes I will say words wrong, so just bear with me on that, especially if it's just names that I think I know that I don't actually know. You know, it happens after reading thousands, is it, is it hundreds of thousands of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I, I can't even remember how many there are at the moment. Sasuke Samurai, nice. Where's our Naruto Samurai? Cool. Um, we have a Sagi the Dark Clown. Two-Headed King Rex, just saw that in our reaction to Episode 2. The Goddess of the Third Eye, Blackland Fire Dragon, Maiden of Aqua, Maiden of Aqua, and then the Emperor's Holiday, Skull Lair, Trap Dust Shoot, ooh, A, Fusion Sage, and L. We haven't even seen one yet, right? And we got two in the same pack. Alala, Al, our man Al. So hopefully we can get some cool. I mean, it's still dark beginning too at the end of the day. So I like just getting some nice cards, even though these packs look like they're searched. Toon Goblin Attack Force. That's cool. Ryukishin Powered Blade Fly Thousand Dragon. The Wicked Worm Beast. Retribution. Dark Spear of the Side and another Fusion Gate. That's nice. After the Genocide and the Defusions. The Defusions. A couple more packs left on the right side. Yugi boy, let's see what we get. Another Sasuke. I guess this is what you expect with loose packs. Arsenal Bug. Possessed Dark Soul. Sura Priest. Otohime. Nice. Spirits Princess. Mysterious Guard. Destiny Board F. Nice. Final Death. Remember in Japanese it was death. They are actually centered cards. Censored cards. Magical Thorn. Disappear. Super Rejuvenation. Uh, Ikabu Dark Mord. Drac Mord. Uh, Fusion Sword Musame Blade. Mursame Blade. Nice. Got that F and that A and that L. Fail. Laugh. Laugh. Alright. Last time on the right side. We got a tip card. Another Jaugen. Jaugen the Spiritualist. Man. Take it. Dark Dust Spirit. Spirit of Ryu. Woodland Sprite. Sprites and Spirits. Toon Cannon Soldier. Um, Mario Kutai. Bottomless. Dark Spirit of the Silent. The Emperor's Holiday Shield and Sword. After the Genocide. Woodland Sprites. What is, what is the name of that song? Sprites and Scary Things? Is that the name of the album from that, from that guy? Alright, here we go. Let's see if these first four packs actually have four foils inside. And we do. Wow. Actually, I think this guy's pretty rare at the moment. Um, last Warrior from Another Planet. Definitely a super I think you'd want to pull from Dark Beginning too. Uh, we'll see as the HUD pops on screen on his value at the moment. But still, a pretty cool card. Uh, this guy is, is talked about just as a, I guess, kind of fan favorite. The Last Warrior from Another Planet. Right, let's check him out. Zombra the Dark and Mari Man. Mari Mariokuta. I'm just gonna say it like that. When this card is special summoned, destroy all monsters on your side of the field, except this card. As long as this card remains face up on the field, neither player can normal, flip, or special summon any monsters. So this guy's just an interesting card where you're like, holy crap. It's kinda good. It's kinda good. Let's think about that. Let's think about that. Nice. A Shadow Goo. Kaiser Seahorse, Jurai Gumo, Starboy! Uh, the Statue of the Easter Island. Okay. A stone monument from Easter Island that launches laser blasts from its rock hewn lips. Disappear. Dra like what? Dragon's Gunfire. 
Where's this guy from? Can't remember the set. He's like a McDonald's card or something. All right. Let's do a five packs from the left side here. Oh, thanks to our friends at Olds Pro. Gonna use our Black Pro Eclipse sleeves on our super rare cards over there. Let's see what we get. Giant Axe Mummy. Twin-Headed Behemoth. Hoshiningen Starboy. Axe Raider. Bistro Butcher. The Launcher Spider's back, baby. First Holiday. Trap. It does shoot. And nice. A rare, graceful, freaking charity. That's cool. After the Genocide. Nice. Rare, graceful. From Dark Beginning to Next Pack. I don't know if we've actually opened this set very much on Simply Unlucky at all. I feel like we've done at least at one opening, but just I just don't think it's a set we've done many reviews of. Shining Friendship. Nice to see that, that card. The Peacemaker Among Monsters. Dragon Seeker. Maharagi. Luminous Soldier. Dragon Piper gives your dragons 200 attack somehow. Illusionist Faceless Mage, man. Classic cards right there from episode two. Bottomless Dark Spirit, The Emperor's Holiday. Fusion Gate, man, three of those. Not bad. I mean, I think three Cybersteins would have been a little more interesting. <laughs> Secret Pass, ooh, Book of Tiny. Okay, next pack. And tip card. Crass Clown. Milus. Milus Radiant, Baby Dragon, Shadow Tamer, Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beast. Graceful Charity's back. All right. All right. After the Genocide, Defusion in the back. Man, getting some doubles here. Multiples. Still nice to see some of these epic classics. Cyber Stein, Kaiku, Morphing Jar, some Jowgens, three Fusion Gates, Graceful Charities. Holy guacamole. Here we go. See how many packs. A couple more packs, and let's open up another one of those search foil packs. Another Jowgen. That's a play set of Jowgen. Zombra the Dark. There he is. So they probably, yeah, they definitely included both fusions for it in this set. Um, so you are able to booster box battle your way through with the fusion gate of Zombra and uh, Mar. Mar you could tie. <laughs> Forget his name already. Battle Steer, Patrician, Little Rabbit Horseman, Battle Ox, and oh, Mystic Horseman, though I do not think are in here. Bubble Crash, Robin Goblin, Fatal Abacus, the A Forces, the Fusion Sage. Searches for your polymerization that's not actually in this set. Dark Beginnings 2, you guys. Here we go. Winged Minion. Um, honestly, this card was one of my more favorite fiends for some reason. Just, uh, I feel like somebody told me he was bad, and that just made me want to play him even more. <laughs> when I was when I was pretty young. So, tribute the face-up card to select one face-up fiend-type monster on the field. Increase the attack and defense by 700 points as long as it remains on the field. So, uh, yeah, I just remember, like, may I think I may have used that as a quick effect, too, by the way. But, uh, but yeah, playing my fiends, pumping up my dark roller, using my winged minion, doing my thing. Mystic Horseman is in here. Mechanical Chaser, nice. The, the hunter that relentlessly pursues its target by the order of the Machine King. Princess Sarugi, Muka Muka. Ooh, a super rare mirror force. Okay, so it looks like we did get a foil. Nice, weird, awkward damage there. It looks like we did get a foil from the pack, so... I wonder, maybe they weren't searched, or maybe they just didn't catch this foil. Searching packs may be not a perfect method to do it, so there may not be one. So, that's an interesting foil to miss. Um, pretty dang valuable card for a long time Mirror Force. Now it's just kind of easy to get, and isn't the best version Mirror card, Force card, I guess what are the other ones? I'm not going to remember at the moment, of course, but putting your opponent's monsters back into their deck, I feel like, is a little better than just destroying them and putting them in the grave most of the time. Very cool, though, to see a classic Dark Beginning 2 Mirror Force. Um, some people back in the day really enjoyed trying to make their deck one single rarity, and so having some of these cards come out super or rare really, like, 
you know, promoted people trying to get those cards because they're like, oh man, I want to make my deck all supers. Or I want to make my deck all rares and commons. So, rare Kaiku came out. Uh, Goblin, Robin Goblin. After the genocide. Ooh, block attack. Nice. So, we got three supers. And, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, let's go and I, every five packs, right? So, actually, no, we'll, just, we'll save these last two packs just because we just pulled a foil. So, why not? Let's just keep going. See what happens. See what happens. Thunder Nian Nian. So, Cat Girl. 1900 attack, though. Pretty cool. Shadow Tamer. Gazelle, the king of Mythical Beasts. Skull Servant. Thunder Dragon, there we go. I was hoping to get a playset. Um, Witch's Apprentice. Bad react into, reaction to Samochi. Your first Yu-Gi-Oh! reaction card. Um, Destiny Poor. Maybe we should use that picture as our thumbnail for when we do reaction videos. Magical Thorn, share the pain. Book of Moon, nice. Didn't realize Book of Moon was in here. This guy is getting a little cluttered over here. Set some of those... Interesting cards up there. Morphing Jar, Kaiku, Cyberstein, very cool. Ring of Magnetism. Alright, you guys. Come on, part of the cards. Gemini Elf. I love how the rare and the foil is in the front sometimes, and then it's not. Uh, elf Twins who alternate attacks, if you guys didn't know. Moisture Creature, Dragon Manipulator, The Great Long Nose, Blast with Chain. The Gear Freak combo back in the day. Because um, the Gear Freak deck was actually usually a combo deck with Butterfly Dagger Elma, but you could also throw in some cards like Blast with Chain just to give it some consistency to where you could win the game without actually getting the Butterfly Dagger combo off. Drop Off, Timidy, The Way of Returning Live, and The Spirit of Rebirth. Three more packs. Let's see if they had any other floater foils in here that they missed. Exiled Force, nice, very popular card for a long time because of the fact that you could use use reinforcements to search it out and potentially blow up one of your opponent's boss, boss monsters. A little Chimera, the Great Ma, nice. Zombra, Princess Sarugi, Battle Steer. Fusion Kate again, wow. Honestly though, I think that might be a decently uh, valued, valued rare from the set though, so it's pretty cool. But four of them, it's like, whoa. Defusion and after the genocide. Once again, loose packs. Definitely not a box. So whoever sent this to us, you know. 24 loose packs. It's not a sealed box. Right. I think from a dark beginning box, you got at least full six foils. So I don't know if we'll do that. Ooh, I like rare Kaikus. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, again, very powerful card back in the day. Stopped your opponent from summoning Chaos Sorcerer, Chaos. Envoy the beginning, Envoy the end, and because uh, your opponent can't remove cards in their grave. And it also removes cards in their grave when it deals uh, direct damage. So, powerful, powerful card. And it's a dark, so you could also play it in your Chaos deck. Opticlops, Serpentine Princess, Needleworm, nice. Sagi, let's do it. Nice, Needleworm. <laughs> Curse of Royal, Destruction, Tremendous Fire, so that's a thousand damage. Pretty intense card when you have 4,000 life points. Book of Moon again, though. Um, Needle Worm was just a really rare card overall back in the day, so just kind of have that rare feel every time I see it, you know. Needle Worm. Alright, last pack from the, I guess, what you'd expect to be rare packs, though we did get a random mirror force in it. Penguin Soldier Rare from Super to Rare. Still pretty cool, though. See that? Um, again, Penguin Soldier was pretty good and was played in many decks back in the day because of the fact that bouncing fusion monsters or monsters from the extra deck, it's not like they can go to the hand, so back to the extra deck. Kaiser Seahorse, nice. Jurai Gumo, Starboy! Oh man, those uh, statue Easter Island stones are back. And guess what? They're from Easter Island. And they shoot pew pews out of the lips. Alright, you guys. Here we go. We got two Thunder Dragons. That was pretty cool. One Yada. Um, let's see what happens. So far we have a Super Rare Susa, Last Warrior from Another Planet, and a Mirror Force. And from the searched packs that we purchased here, um, 
It seems like we'll have two more foils because these packs were set aside. And just to give you guys some cool rares here. Let's go ahead and pop these open. So I'm hoping we get an ultra rare. I don't know if they had a way of weighing those out, but let's see what happens. Give it to us. Kaiba! Oh yeah, there's a tip card. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put the first card on the bottom because that seems to be where the foil is. Alright. Ocelo Hero, number two. The Immortal Thunder, Mealus Raiden, Crass Clown, Baby Dragon, Gravekeepers, Retribution, Dark Spirits, Array of Revealing Light, Super Offcut, Holy Guacamole, Call the Mummy, man, all of them are, look at those rares, or uh, spell cards, crazy, it's like a word at the top of the card go, alright, and our foil card that I'm 90, 90% sure is foil, is Don Zalug. Actually, pretty cool pretty cool card there. Uh, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, select one card at random from your opponent's hand, discard it, or send top two to the, to the grave. Usually, you never use the second one. Um, again, very good in the classic Chaos decks. It's a dark monster. It's able to get rid of cards from your opponent's hand anytime it deals direct damage. Uh, Spirit Reaper came out, though, and kind of replaced this guy, but still, very powerful card, especially when you combine it with cards like Yada. Yada is attacking directly, you know, and not allowing them to draw. While this card's discarding cards from your hand, it's like instantly almost a GG when they both attack together. So, very cool. Okay, four supers. Can we end on a ultra? Let's do it right here, right now. Part of the cards. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, a tip card that's number two. Set that card there. Sombra the dog. Sarugi's back. Battle steer. Rabbit horseman. Spirit message. We have a message from the spirits. I. It's going to start with the letter I. <laughs> All right, you guys. Here we go. Is it a foil? Have our packs been searched? Yo! Oh, a ultra rare Swift Gaia, the fierce knight. That's cool. Cool ultra rare pool for sure uh card can only be in, if this card is the only card in your hand you can summon this card face up attack position without tributing as a normal summon awesome picture though this is really cool it's a i guess different rarity because the other one's from the tin it's secret still very cool to see that as an ultra very cool uh i think foil feel to it that black and gold type combo I think it looks very cool so going back through this you guys it looks like the packs were searched but um, first of all buying online is risky in its own in its own right because you never really know um, so always be careful maybe try to buy from similar sellers constantly especially ones that you find that are more trustful but at the same time um, you never know and so you could be buying from this guy looks like he's a trusted seller but it looks like he's also ratioing out, ratioing, maybe that's not the way to say it, but making sure that each set of foils has four foils, or each set of 24 packs has four foils inside, Well, really it could have six to eight. So he's not technically searching his packs because he's still making sure you have the foils, he's not taking the foils out. But you know, there's always, a, there's always a, something going on sometimes when you buy loose packs especially. And this also was an example of getting scammed or um, a difficult situation when purchasing online because we were told we were getting a physical booster box when really we got 24 loose packs. So multiple things going on with this video. So I thought I'd take a chance to talk about that with you guys. But yeah, overall, Dark Beginning 2, epic set. I'm glad we were able to open this up and review it for you guys because absolutely insane. Of course, a longer video because this is uh, 24 packs of classic and they're bigger packs, right? 13 card packs. But yeah, overall, I'm glad that uh, we ended up doing this video because it gives you guys an idea of the difficulties or the scams that are online. So just uh, remember to watch yourself before you wreck yourself type deal. But uh, overall, Dark Being a 2, very cool set. So I'm excited to uh, possibly do some sort of booster box war with this or set wars um, just because uh, Dark Beginning 2 obviously looks like it'd be a good time. And two Thunder Dragons with the new Thunder Dragon cards coming up. Pretty cool. And... Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and what experiences you guys maybe have gone through with difficult online purchases, 
Uh, people say you're getting a box when really you get 24 loose packs or you just get a box filled with garbage or oh a box filled with open packs Oh, that one's great and when they say it's a sealed box So uh, yeah, let us know your experiences in the comments below and uh, Hopefully we can all learn from them and as always thank you guys so much for watching Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos and simply unlucky signing out <laughs>